Hello, this is my rainwater collection system. I used, it's just used off the roof, and uh, I use vinyl gutters. Uh, you can get them, everything you can get, you can get at Lowe's for pretty cheap. I think these are five or six bucks a piece. Um, I have that going into a reducer that's either four or five inches reduced to two inches with a, a little net that I bungee to the top there to catch bigger leaves and stuff and so you keep the mosquitoes from going down into your system. You also have to do it with the breather in the back. I haven't done that yet. But uh, we have a uh, two inch pipe going to the barrels. Um, I've, uh, I've had, I have this going into a T and I plug that right there because eventually I'm going to take this extended out and put another three barrels. But these barrels uh, you can get all over the place for cheap. Uh, to reuse them, just make sure uh, they only they only carried food products in them, no hydraulic fluid or any chemicals like that that embeds in the plastic. Um, just two inch with the connectors. Uh, successful test uh, a few days ago. It rained for a few hours. We got a we got a full barrel down here. There's a little bit in this barrel. This barrel's dry, but it wasn't a very long rain. And back here. Back here, uh, the breather goes from just an elbow right here with this regular uh, black hose. I suggest the clear hose. That way, if you want to check your water levels, you can see that. But I just epoxied them in here. This is a T, the elbow, another T up here, and then just make sure the breather is, you know, higher than the barrels and pipes. And as for the um, the structure, I use two by fours and four by fours, four four by fours and a bunch of two by fours. I suggest uh, salvaged wood. Uh, that's always cheaper. Um, let's see, and eventually this water is going to be used. I got to get a filtration system because this water is going to be used in the aquaponic system. It's going to go in with the tilapia and the koi. Over here, we're going to have a 1,500 gallon tank that sits. It's going to sit right here underneath this tree. It's going to be a pretty big tank, but uh, we're going to put something up here, maybe run some more a little mini gutter system, and then we want to grow uh, strawberries and raspberries and berries all around the tilapia tank, the koi tank. And then right on this side, where you can't really see it from the road, uh, it's going to be the manifold and that system, and it's going to pump. We're going to have a pretty powerful uh, one horsepower pump, and it's going to pump water to the hydroponic grow beds uh, out in this uh, field over here, uh, which is going to consist of a similar structure of the water collection system. It's going to be half, you're going to half those barrels in two. You put your growing medium in there, and obviously whatever you want to plant. And then uh, from there, we're going to have a little uh, gravity drainage back to a catch tank where I'm going to, I don't know, probably grow duckweed or something like that for the fish. And then uh, from that, uh, it's going to go back into the, from the catch tank, it's going to go back into the tilapia tank via a submersible uh, pump with a uh, floating mechanism on it for the levels. And um, that's really all I got right now. But uh, we've tested the rainwater system and it works. Uh, now I've got a bunch more work to do. So this concludes the phase one for Andy's aquaponics system.